So today I decided to film au naturel without any makeup. I just had a tooth extracted and yeah, it's not my um, best week ever. So yeah, mm, it's really strange. And I feel like I'm talking a little strange too. And I feel like my lip is going in and, and I'm super conscious when I smile and yeah. I have terrible teeth. I don't know about you guys, but... Ooh. Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you today for our third tutorial for baby. So two weeks ago, we had created diaper covers. Then we had created last week a top to match. And today we are going to pull it all together by creating little adorable little booties. I hope you will like them. I am totally obsessed with them. They are adorable, really easy to make. I will take you through it as usual slowly but surely. What are the stitches that you need to know for these? So you have chain, you have single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. That's it. So very simple stitches and super easy to make and they're so tiny that it goes so fast so you know you will be done like this so lots of exciting things about today's tutorial all right so i have the little booties here next to me i am totally in love with them i also wanted to show you how you can change the size of your booty just by changing the kind of yarn you use and the size of your crochet hook. So here is the first example, let me show you. I did that with fingering yarn. All right, this one is made with fingering yarn and two 25 millimeter crochet hook. And that size is for a newborn or a preemie. It's really, really, really tiny. Here I'm gonna put my finger it sits on my index finger, all right? I did exactly the same pattern with Comfort DK yarn, that um, Maya yarn from Barocco, right? And you see how bigger it is? And that actually would fit, I think, zero to three months. Look at the flower. Do you see it's a little bigger than the previous one? So that's with the same crochet hook and a thicker yarn. And then I took the same yarn, but a slightly, slightly bigger uh, crochet hook. This one is a 275 millimeter crochet hook. And that I think made it even a little bigger and higher. And that is about, I would say, zero to five months. So I didn't change anything in my tutorial per se, except for the size of the yarn and the size of the crochet hook. Just to show you how the size of the yarn and the size of the crochet hook matters, I will put all the info about everything that I used in the info box. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to ask in the comment box below. As I have mentioned already in my previous tutorials, it is very important to choose a very soft yarn for babies since they have a very sensitive skin so be careful when you choose the yarn if you are not subscribed to my channel yet don't hesitate to do so it is totally free click on the subscribe button and don't hesitate to click on the little bell too so you will get notified every time i post something new as usual, I will put the written pattern uh, in the next few days on my blog. Here is the link to my blog if you are interested in checking all of my written patterns. Here is my uh, social media addresses if you're interested to coming and hang out with me in between the tutorials and you know participate sometimes in the creative process. I ask what you think, what you would like me to do. So don't hesitate to come and visit me there. If you would like to know how to create these darling little baby booties, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet. For this tutorial, you will need one skein of yarn from the brand Barocco. The name of the yarn is Maya and the color is Papaya. You will need a crochet hook, 
275 millimeter, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain 16. You are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. And then you are going to single crochet in each and every chain. When you reach the end of your first row, you will have 15 single crochet in total. Chain one and turn your work around. For your second row, you are going to single crochet all along your row, but you're going to only pick the back part of your stitch. So single crochet 15 times, but only in the back part of your stitch. Since you are only crocheting in that back part of the stitch, you're creating a little ridge and that's exactly what you want. You are done with your second row. Chain one, turn your work around and again repeat 15 single crochet, picking only the back part of your stitch. And you are going to continue exactly like that. Single crochet in the back loop only for a total of 23 rows. And this is what your work will look like, little ridges. And you actually just created the cuff of your little booty. Once you have 23 rows, do not fasten off. Place your work like so in front of you. You will be folding it eventually, but for now, just like that. But for now, what you are going to do is, on top of your work, you're going to pick up one single crochet per row. So at the end of that next row, which will go horizontally along the long side of your rectangle, you will have 23 single crochets. Make sure you have 23 rows. Take your work, chain one, and pick up one single crochet for each and every row you had made. So it will be one single crochet in that little ridge, one single crochet in that little valley you created between the ridges all along your row. And that's the first row of the body, if I can call it like that, of your booty. You're done with your first row. Turn your work around, chain one, and make a single crochet in each and every stitch you picked up on your first row. So for the second row, you will have 23 single crochet in total. At the end of your second row, you're going to take your scissors and you are going to fasten off. With your work facing you, you're going to count seven stitches from the right side and place your hook in the eighth stitch. Then take your yarn and join. Chain 
and make a chain. Single crochet in that same space. And in the next eight stitches, you are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. So once you have nine single crochet in total, you stop. You should have seven stitches on each side of your middle nine stitches. Seven stitches to the right and seven stitches to the left. We are making right now the front part of your booty. Chain one, turn your work around and make a single crochet in each of those nine stitches. You will have nine single crochet at the end of that row. You are going to repeat the same thing for two more rows. So you will have four rows in total of nine single crochet. There you go. So you are at the end of that fourth row of nine single crochet in total. And for that next row, you are going to decrease, turning two single crochet into one. I am going to show you exactly how you decrease. Pass your crochet hook in that first, through that first stitch, yarn over and back through the stitch. You will have two loops on your crochet hook. In the next stitch, repeat, pass your crochet hook through, yarn over and back through that stitch. You will have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through all the three loops. And you just turn two stitches into one. Then you're going to do five single crochet, one single crochet in the five next stitches. And when you have two stitches left, you're going to repeat the decrease steps, turning those two last stitches into one. At the end of this row, you will have seven single crochet left in total. We had nine the row before, now we have seven. We decreased by two. Time to fasten off again. What we are going to do now is we're going to sew the cuff together. So you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to take the tail end we had left at the beginning of your work and you're going to use it to sew the cuff together all along the ridges we had created at the beginning. And that's the way I assemble it together. I take the part of the V-stitch that is further away from me from the opposite side and the one that is close to me from my side. There you go, that is how I sew in the side of the cuff. This is going to be the wrong side. And I'm going to sew all along, if you remember, those 15 stitches that we had made at the beginning with the cuff. And I'm going to continue to sew in the two first rows of single crochet we had done on the left side there. And once I'm done, I am going to cut the tails and that will be the wrong side of my work. I'm going to sew in all the other loose tails. So if you fold your cuff, this is what your booty will look like. See, we have what is going to be around the little ankles and then the top part of the booty. All right, so now you're going to put your work back to the right side. We were on the wrong side now. Place your booty just like so with the seam facing you that we had sewn together. And from now on, 
we are going to be working in the round. No more rows, but rounds. Take your crochet hook and pass it through that first stitch right after the seam. Join it with your yarn again. And you're going to chain two. One and two. This will count as your first half double crochet. In the next stitch, make a half double crochet. And in the next. All right, so your first chain two will count as your first half double crochet. And you are going to make one half double crochet in the next six stitches. So counting the first chain two, you have seven half double crochet in total. Now in the corner stitch, you are going to make two half double crochets in that same corner stitch. Now you're going to pick up stitches going up that little front part we had made you're going to pick up five half double crochet along that side, five in total. And when you reach that corner stitch, you're going to make two half double crochet in that same stitch. One and two, creating a little 90 degree angle. Now on top, you're going to pick up five stitches and make five half double crochets. Right there. And in the corner stitch, you will make two half double crochets in that same stitch. Then you're going to go down the next side picking up five half double crochets, again, exactly the same as the other side. And you're going to make two half double crochets in that corner stitch there, right here. And you're going to pick up the next seven stitches, making seven half double crochets. And you're going to slip stitch with the first chain two you had made at the beginning of your round. Since we are working in the round now, this is what your work will look like. See how it's taking shape? Oh my god, it's so cute. So tiny. For the next round, you're going to chain two again. Now we are going to do a double crochet, but we're going to do a front post double crochet. Let me show you exactly how it's done. It's super easy. What you're going to do is yarn over and go around that post that created the half double crochet in the previous round. So from front, picking it up around and back. Yarn over under the post. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over through two of those three loops. You have two loops on your crochet hook left. Yarn over through all the loops on your crochet hook. And you're going to do that picking up each and every stitch around that round repeating it all around through each and every one. And just like that, you just made front post double crochet. It's not that hard, is it? All right, so let's continue. We are going to repeat that all around. Front post double crochet. At the end of this front post double crochet round, you will have 36 front post double crochet in total. When you reach the end of your round, slip stitch with the first chain two from the beginning of your round. 
This is what your work will look like. And for your next round, you are going to repeat exactly the same thing, chain two and front double crochet in each and every stitch. 36 times in total, all around. Look how adorable. So it's really beginning to take shape now. We are basically done now with the sides of the foot and we're going to begin to decrease and do the sole of your baby booty. And for that you're going to chain one and you are going to decrease turning those two stitches in one by making two single crochet together as I showed you before and then you're going to make one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So you decrease, turn two single crochet into one, and then your single crochet 13 times. Once you are done with your 13 stitches, you are going to decrease again, turning the next two stitches into one. Same way again, turning those two single crochets into one. Then you are going to single crochet in the next stitch and decreasing those two next stitches, turning them into one. And voila! And now you're going to make 13 single crochet. Once you're done with your 13 single crochets, you're going to decrease turning the two next single crochet into one. And then you're going to slip stitch with the first single crochet, the first chain one we had made at the beginning of the round. And you're done with that first decrease round. For the second decrease round, you're going to chain one, decrease, turning the two next stitches into one. And you're going to make 11 single crochets. You are going to decrease in the next two stitches, turning them into one. Make one single crochet and another decrease, turning the next two stitches into one. And then you're going to make 11 more single crochets. Make one last decrease for this round, turning those two next two stitches into one. And then slip stitch with the chain one from the beginning of your round. And that's the second decrease round. Oh my god, it is so cute! I'm melting. And for the next round, chain one, make a decrease, 
turning the next two stitches into one and then make nine single crochets. Once you have nine single crochets, turn the two next stitches into one, make a single crochet and another decrease, turning those two next stitches into one, and then repeat nine single crochets. We are almost done, guys. I absolutely love crocheting for babies. It goes so fast. That is so, so, so precious. And then you're going to make your last decrease, turning the two last stitches into one, and slip stitching at, with the beginning of your round. And for this last round, chain one, make a decrease, turning the two next stitches into one, and make seven single crochets. And then turn the next two stitches into one by decreasing single crochet one, and decrease again, turning those two stitches into one, and seven single crochets till the end of your round. Making one last decrease, turning those two last stitches into one, and slip stitch with the beginning of your work. Look at that! Now time to take your scissors and fasten off. We're going to sew in the bottom of your booties. Turn your work wrong side again facing you so you can sew the bottom of your booties to the on the wrong side. Voila. And you're going to close the bottom shut by assembling it the same way we had done for the seam of the cuff. So in all the loose tails at the wrong side of your work, turn it back right side and that is it. You are done my friend. Look at this gorgeous cuteness. And what is left for you to do now is another one <laughs> to make a pair and voila ta -da, you are done how oh, cute is that it is so adorable so if you take um, thicker yarn and bigger number crochet hook you will make bigger booties the smaller the hook and the thinner the yarn the smaller the booty will be um, I absolutely love it I hope you like it too I think it's so 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 adorable I'm planning to make many many more of these I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I hope you like that beautiful baby set. I think those booties with the diaper cover and the top we created in the last few weeks would make the perfect newborn gift and would make any mom happy. So yes, so I'm looking forward to many more tutorials and in the meantime, until next time, happy crochet! Love you! Oh my god, I'm so addicted. What is it? Hold on, I have to concentrate. It's very complicated at Starbucks. It is a grande ice cream tea latte with almond milk and no sweetener. Yes, I did it! Sometimes I go there at Starbucks and then I blank out. And then I'm like, uh, I think I, I feel like you need a PhD to order something at Starbucks. Anyway, addicted. My, um, I. Bleh. Yeah, not fun.